All right, peeps. So recently, I invested in a new car and I decided to pick up an ambulance, which I'm pretty stoked about. It's a 2000 um, 7.3 liter uh, turbo diesel. Um, so it's got that good engine in it. But anyways, I just wanted to give a tour of it and maybe solicit some ideas from viewers and my friends alike. And we're gonna give this thing a little tour and let me know what you think should go where. All right, so let's do a little walk around. We'll start on this passenger side and just go all the way around to the driver's side. So this first little cabinet right here opens up. It's a nice shelving that actually goes all the way through. So obviously tons of cabinet storage and ambulance. I mean, they gotta carry a lot of medical equipment. And then below here we got all our Batteries, pretty much a power drawer to run everything in the back, which you'll see there's plenty of AC outlets back here. Imagine that, we got another cabinet, which to me just immediately screams skis and snowboards. That's nice and tall. So we'll see about that one, but what do you guys think? We can see the whole back back here. Wide open. Pretty awesome too, we're already equipped with a little backup camera. And that made driving this thing back from Nebraska a little easier, cause it is pretty long. It's definitely got that nice wide stance. Moving on to this next guy. So what's kind of cool about in here is it's again, nice big cabinet storage, um, but also goes through and into the cab. What should go in here? See, I don't know. And moving on. Even more outside cabinets. Pretty much got another bottom storage where above this is uh, the countertop on the inside of the cab. Um, but again, tons of storage. And the last cabinet on the outside is this guy. About as tall as the, the one on the other side. But uh, what's really cool is it has this oxygen tank hookup which to me just screams, move this up, put a propane tank. You got gas in there, you got it, you know, run a heater. But yeah, let me close up all these panels and we'll go on the inside. First thing up here at the top, it's got a nice big AC unit that I tested out the other day, runs nice and cold. So, you know, comfortable passengers back here, got seat belts for one, two, three, and four, and then five in the captain's chair. So six, seven, we can fit seven people legally in this bad boy. That's pretty cool. You know, you can go shred. Chaw. <laughs> but for reals, let's uh, keep moving on. So we got this cabinet again right here. So some more storage. This was that one I already show you, or showed you guys that goes out to the outside right there. And keep moving back this way. This is that bench seat. When we got, uh, got some more cabinet space up here. Old IV heater, that's fun. Thinking uh, could probably just set a pair of goggles on there and pre-warm the goggles. I got some fogging issues, so maybe that'll solve them. Um, but moving on, the more cabinets. And what's really cool about these cabinets, which the, almost all of them do, is they have this latch so you can Really open them all the way up too if you want. You get some in and out of there. And then these bench seats pop up as well. And more storage. I think that's gonna be the name of this video is just more storage, more storage. Uh, this drawer comes out that kind of goes into there. Moving around, this is again that storage area that goes into the outside. So it's kind of nice. Um, and then we got, again, some more cabinets up here, kind of fit clothes or whatever else in the future. Uh, like I said, this thing's equipped with 
a lot of uh, AC outlets. There's one there. There's one kind of back in the corner over there. A little tiny storage area down there. Um, this obviously kind of pops down and you got this big counter space right here. Coming up, we got this captain's chair. You know, you can leave it in here for seating. And then, you know, on this countertop, you got a nice little, little workspace right here. It's pretty sweet. I'm kind of down for that. Moving on, we got, this was where that oxygen tank normally sits. So we got access there with a little, little hole right here. So that's kind of nice. Can, like I was saying, run a heater or something. Um, again, just more storage. That's the name of the video, just more storage. So what do I put in the storage? That's the real thing, what goes where? And let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this one, this one's kind of fun uh, because I have no, I'm not an electrician at all. Um, I have taken some physics classes, but besides that, I have a lot to learn in here. <laughs> That's a little intimidating. Um, got, I don't know, all that circuit board for everything running in and out of the van. So luckily though, they gave me a diagram and I think I'm a, I think I'm a decently smart guy, so I'll figure it out. Um, or I'll find someone to mentor me. <laughs> Another little tiny cabinet that kind of is right between the cab and then this opens up Again more storage. Uh, this is where the inverter once was they took it out though So I got to find a new inverter. So yeah, if anyone recommends an inverter I'm kind of done some research already, but more than open to uh, Some recommendations for sure Do 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 Ambulance Yeah this is kind of the front area. Um, unfortunately, uh, they took out the radio and the siren, but they left all the lights. So I'm gonna try not to get myself in trouble by using them, but you know, like you, you gotta do it every once in a while. And then there's a little backup camera readout right here. And everything else is kind of just the same for a big truck. Um, that's about it, I think. So. Let me know, what, what do you guys think? Uh, maybe just like put in like the uh, time code or like the, you know, where at in the video, what you think should go where, based on all that like cabinet space. Um, and I really do appreciate that because uh, I have a lot to plan, a lot to blueprint out before I start doing work on it. And I'm gonna probably pace this out over the next, uh, I would say like four or five months or so and hopefully have this thing ready for winter and uh, be following some storms and getting uh, some real good fun turns. We'll see. Oh, it's a bam! Hi, Christina. That's about it. Look at it though, in all its glory. It's gonna be fun, fun project ahead.